Okay, just want to talk about putting objects into Blender, the most basic way we can do this um, and do some modeling in Blender. So this is very similar to, if you like, using Lego bricks in real life. There's a lot of predefined objects that you can just drop in. Okay, and the most basic one is once you've started up Blender, you've got a blank file and you always get a cube in the middle of a Blender space. And that's what you always get whenever you start a new file in Blender. And if I press the middle mouse button down or the track wheel on the mouse and move the mouse, you can see that's in the middle, smack in the middle of the 3D world. Okay, now what I can do with this object is I can move it and I can resize it and I can rotate it. So if I just come up here and just show you in this corner, we've got these options. So under the Tools tab, we've got the options to translate, which means move it rotate it and scale it okay now this is not the best way of doing things but i'm going to show it anyway because a lot of people want to do this if i press translate i can move the cube around just by moving my mouse around okay so it follows my mouse cursor roughly roughly speaking now the trouble is i have no idea where it is in the 3d space because you're looking at a 3d space on a 2d screen it gets confusing so various options for getting around this. First one is, you'll notice in this corner down here, it gives you a little guide as to where your axes are. So Z is up, Y is the green line which goes across the screen, you can just see it here, okay? And X is the red line which comes this way across the screen. Okay, so you know the names of the axes there that you're on. So if I wanted my cube only to move on the X axis, I press X it will lock it to the X axis and likewise if I want it only to go on the green line the Y axis I press Y and even though it flickers a bit it will always jump back and snap to the Y axis and then once I'm done I just click on the mouse okay and it's in its new position okay another possible way of doing this view quad view now quad view now gives you a view from the top from the front and from the right hand side so you can see from the top i might be able to move it here so i can move it along and if i wanted to see if it was smack in the middle i could press y on the keyboard again and try and move it into the middle of the screen but again it's not the best way to do it okay what i would recommend we do let's just come out of that so view toggle quad view again to get back to our normal 3d view as i am going to come up to here on this side of the screen and you've got all these mini icons which are the backbone of a lot of what we do in blender but this one here which looks like a cube if we click on that we suddenly get all the numeric values for the cube so if, for instance, I'm looking at that and I can see on these are actually in order, so that's X, Y, and Z axes. I can see on the X axis, which is the red, which is the red one, it's smack in the middle, it's centered at zero. But on the Y axis, with five, or one, two, three, four, five cubes across from the center. So if I make that zero, it puts it back in the middle. And likewise, if I wanted to, wanted to rotate it, so I could rotate it on the x-axis by 45 degrees. And y-axis, 45 degrees. And by putting these numbers in, I've got a lot more control over it. And what I can also do is I can just click and drag on these, num on these numbers. And I can rotate stuff. So it's, I find it a lot easier here. And you obviously do stuff with scale. You can play around with these shapes, with these basic polygon shapes. Now then, let's put in another shape. So I'm going to come up to here, but this time I'm going to click on the Create tab. So I'll click on Create, and you'll instantly see that there's a big list here of stuff you can put in. A plane is like a sheet of paper. It's a, just a one thin 
Um, it's like a cube that, if you like, is only one pixel high and can never be more than one pixel high, but very good for creating landscapes. Okay, um, a cube we've seen, circle is like a button, um, a UV sphere is a smooth sphere, a icosphere is a more of a mathematical type thing, so we'll look at those in a minute. Cylinder is like a Coke can, obviously, cone, upside down ice cream cone, and a torus is like a donut. So if we just pop a few of these in, okay, so let's put a torus in. And if I click on Taurus, you instantly see it appears in the middle of my screen. Okay, and so if I want to move it out, I can come over here to this side of the screen and I can just click and drag on these numbers and I can move it around the middle mouse button and see what I'm doing. Okay, so I can easily start putting objects together like this. Okay, um, likewise, if we put a sphere, a UV sphere in, Okay, I can try and drag it. No, no point. It's much easier just to come over here. So remember, we're on this object box. We're just using these to move the objects around. If we wanted it to go up, up in the air or down in the air, we, we could use this over here. And then if we rotate around, we should see it go up and down. Okay, now you'll notice this little fella here, this cursor. This cursor de determines where the objects appear. So if I click over here with the left mouse button, so that's the mouse button you would normally use on the on any other pro program. But if I just click on here, and I would point out I am in object mode here, I've not changed modes at any point here. So I'll come over here and I can say, okay, let's put an icosphere in, and it pops that in where that is, okay? So I've got loads of objects I'm putting in my scene. Okay, and just one last thing before we finish is if I right click to select the cube and I'll just move that out of the way using again the numbers over here. If I want to move this cursor back to the middle, okay, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to view, um, align view, center cursor and view all and that will pull us out, puts the cursor smack in the middle, and then that means if we put an, another object in, so let's put a cylinder in, it's back in the middle of the world. Okay, and that's basically how you put objects into Blender and how you can play around with them, with scale, okay, and rotation. Okay, and that's the end of this tutorial.